It was another really nice day across the region. We did see a lot of sunshine this evening. We have clear skies showing up on all of our sky cams along with the warm temperatures. We're finally starting to see the warmer weather really across a large portion of the country. Dallas right now back up into the 80s. Little Rock holding on to the mid 70s. Here at home, we're still talking upper 60s and low 70s. So even though that sun has set, we are still very comfortable this evening. Right now, Mount Vernon reporting 68 degrees. We do have Marion and Paducah both coming in at 70 degrees. And then Kennett is the warmest at 72. Now, as far as the rest of the night goes, the quiet and warm conditions will be sticking around through the overnight hours. But once we get to tomorrow, it is going to be our last warm day. We are going to start to see some changes by the time we get to Wednesday evening. That's going to bring that chance for rain back to the region. So here's what we've got going on right now. Again, not a whole lot of activity to track as far as the overnight hours go. We've got a lot of clouds off to our north, but here at home we've got the clear skies. Clear skies do stick around for most of the night. By the time we get to early Wednesday, partly cloudy skies are likely to return and then we'll see temperatures in the 60s as we start the day. So feeling a bit more like a summer morning than a fall morning. Throughout the day on Wednesday, we're really pretty quiet. We will see those temperatures coming back up into the upper 70s, and then eventually that cold front will start to make its way into the area. Ahead of this cold front, we are going to see those winds picking up out of the south and west. We could see some of those wind gusts picking up close to 30 miles per hour before that front moves through. The front will start to make its way into the area by the evening on Wednesday. That could bring an isolated shower or two, but I think most of us are going to be staying dry, at least for the initial part of this system. Now again, tomorrow warm but very windy, so not quite as nice as today was. Those wind gusts again running close to 30 miles per hour. Storm Track 3 app, you can keep that around to track some of those rain chances. That small isolated chance comes late on Wednesday. We'll start to see more widespread rain chances by the time we get to Thursday. Some of that lingers into early Friday morning, but by the time we get into the weekend and next week, we will dry right back out. Now, as far as that rainfall forecast goes, this is a look at the next three days. This is primarily going to be an event that we see across the southern half of the viewing area. So back across parts of western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee, and into the boot heel, we're tracking maybe a half inch of rainfall. And then once you start to push further north, we start to see those amounts dropping off. So by the time you're to about Jefferson County, you're talking about a trace to maybe a tenth of an inch, so not a washout by any means. While we're not expecting a lot of rainfall from this event, what we will all be dealing with are the cooler temperatures. So it was inevitable. We'll see those highs dipping back down into the low 60s by the time we get to the end of the week. And then we stay there as we head into the weekend. But the average high for this time of year is actually 60 degrees. So honestly, right on track. Yeah, yeah, and really the weekend's not looking bad at all. No, it doesn't. Looks great. All right, thank you, JC.